This is an antique Japanese captain's chest called the Funadansu. The entire piece was made using polonia wood called Kirinoki. This is an unusual feature on this Funadansu as most other Funadansus that are seen were usually made out of keaki wood or chestnut wood with kiri wood being only on the interiors of the piece. All of the metal fittings were handmade and it has a secret safety box situated behind the bottom left drawer. The trick lies in the clever method used to hide this particular box. <clears throat> we had set the locks so that they will latch in place. You would move the main lock latch to the right and this ring latch to the right, which opens the hinge door to the multiple drawers within the piece. To get to the secret box, you would this take both drawers entirely out and you will notice on the drawers the length of the drawers, one being shorter than the other. However, on the inside cavity of the small drawer is a wall that is permanent. On the other drawer, the wall goes all the way to the back of the tansu. So you would then <clears throat> grab a finger hole on this panel and slide this wall out. And then it opens a space behind to the left in the back <clears throat> where you can then grab the secret box that comes out. The Japanese funadansu was constructed such that when a ship was under attack by possible pirates, the captain and possibly the first mate would then throw the chest overboard uh, with a rope attached to it. The polonia wood on the inside of the chest, it would be full of treasures, gold and coins and things of that sort, and it would be quite heavy. Yet, when it went in the water, the inside polonia wood would then expand, creating air holes, and this piece would be connected by rope and would float under the water surface where the pirates wouldn't see until after they left the ship. This also has the side handles, which are pivoting handles where a bamboo pole could go through both sides so that two people could lift this piece and make it a little more manageable. And it's also got iron framing around it for added security and safety. The age of this piece would be, oh, the late Edo era probably circa 1850s to 1860s. And thank you for looking.